Alright. Next part of the series. Let's talk refugium. I decided that I won't drill the tank because it makes the wife uncomfortable. And I gotta listen to that because happy wife, happy life, y'all know that. So what I decided to get was a hang on back refugium. And we'll go up here and we'll see what it what it is. Right here, I'll go ahead and show you. This is what it is on the tank right now. I'll go ahead and show you the unboxing of this refugio, how it became what it is, and we'll be right back. What's gonna happen? Water comes in here from the tank, flows down, all the way down, remove this, flows down over this baffle. This fills up. This is gonna have Miracle Mud along with Chato and whatever other macroalgae I'm gonna put in here. I'll probably have some um, rubber rock or something like that in there also. It's gonna fill up. It's gonna go through these grates right here. And then it's gonna overflow right back into the tank. So now you have an idea of what type of refuge I'm using, how it works, and all that happy stuff. So this is what I came up with. The refugium is being powered by a 250, 250 gallon per hour pump, as you saw in the unboxing. Water goes in, flows over a baffle, comes up, fills up, and overflows back into the tank. I've added two types of chato, um, two types of al macro algae, I should say. One is chato, and another one is some local stuff that a guy at, a, at my local reef store says was pretty good. So I decided to try both. Um, at the bottom, for the substrate of the refugium, I'm using Miracle Mud. I've had great success with that. Um, my 10 gallon frag slash clown tank right now is doing awesome growing all type of pods and life in there and also I'm using a uh, grow light um, it's an LED bulb it's a pack I bought it as a pack of four um, it has blue and red LEDs which are perfect to grow like plants um, it's used a lot in, in aquaponics and I've been using it on my 10 gallon and it works great so let's go ahead and look at the light. So that's the actual bowl. And 
best go ahead and see if we can get a look at the macroalgae that's in here. So, this is gonna help me suck out all that nutrients that's not needed. And this is gonna help balance out the tank. So, this is another part of the build series. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for the next one.